So, episode three. Oh, thank God it's over. It was just terrible. Horrible. Oh, Anakin betrays his Jedi friends and turns to the dark side. Killing little Jedi children. And helping Palpatine get his empire. Yes, his empire. His empire that he can rule the galaxy with. He destroys the Viceroids and he pretty much makes it yeah, as his personal weapon. Yes, Palpatine now has a personal weapon and it's Darth. And now Anakin is not Anakin anymore. He's Darth freaking Vader. And he sure does a lot of damage in the first part of his days as Darth Vader. Killing little children? Check. Um, killing everybody in sight? Doing whatever Darth Sidious wants him? Because he's not Palpatine no more. Hmm. And making sure that they wipe out every single Jedi except two. Mr. Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And that's pretty much after that, you're waiting for the big fight between, well, the fight between Yoda and Darth Sidious is not really a fight. It's not even a question of a fight. It's just a pre-match, kind of a, a matchup like, oh yeah, that was real. This could have been better. Hmm. But the main event is Obi-Wan Kenobi and the new head Darth Lord of the Galaxy, Darth Vader. <clears throat> and this fight is really, that's good. It, it's a good fight, but I don't think it's like, oh, like it was the best fight in the world, you know, because I think there's so many better fights in the Star Wars life-saving battle, lifesaver battle fights it's just the opinion it, it, it it's it, and if you have a movie that really is just all about the main event because they have it on their cover they have and they have it on their little reading book of the chapters and, and it shows them fighting each other and it has Palpatine the Sith Lord Darth Sidious uh, his wife um, up there and Anakin and you have Obi-Wan and they had many many covers and I thought all the covers were really good but it's just this movie suffers from so many stuff just so it suffers. It, it, it's a movie that really just suffers in so many ways. It, it's the same thing with episode two. It's the same with episode one. These movies suffer from lack of what the originals did. Stick to the material that made Star Wars good. But no, no, we, we, we just want to make sure that we are gonna make something new and, because I'm George Lucas and I want to make this Star Wars so awesome wait till I show them this new these new characters the new politics in the Star Wars it's gonna be awesome everybody I can't wait till you see all the politics I put in episode one and two and three Yes, that's what we get. We get politics and less Star Wars action. Less Star Wars action, more talking. Let's just talk politics, politics, politics. And that doesn't make a great Star Wars movie. What makes a great Star Wars movie is the Sith and the Jedi. The Sith and the Jedi fighting the Jedi is fighting for good. The Sith is fighting for evil. And if I have to write it on a chalkboard, it would say Sith bad. 
evil want to rule the galaxy and Jedi want to have peace in the galaxy but no it's all about politics and don't we get enough politics stuff in the real life we want to escape from that and I would like to escape from that and not have anything close to reality anything close to reality of the real world I'm trying to escape with imagine me being a Jedi master and I just say oh wait that's a spoon sorry that's not my Jedi sword but it would be cool if I was a Jedi Master. That I would know that Palpatine was a Sith Lord right away. I would have known. I would have known. And I would have took him out. And they would all say, wait, 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 arrest him, arrest him. And, and then Yoda would say, oh, don't arrest him. Let's know why he did this. Because you know Yoda would have been reading my mind but he would have known something why I did that to Papa team because I knew because nobody could ever see it until it was too late until it was too late and now it's too late now Darth Vader is Darth Vader they're building the Death Star the end of the movie they're standing right there just looking at it yes this will be our Death Star I know, Master. <sighs> Where's my son? Wait a minute. Who cares? I'm the Sith Lord. I will meet him, I bet. Oh, God. I'm so glad that episode three... I'm done with episode one, two, and three. Thank you. Gosh, now it's time for episode four, episode five, and episode six. And then seven. And then I watch Rogue, uh, Rogue One. So hopefully I will have more reviews like this. And then I will have a review of Episode 8. And I can't wait for the new Star Wars this December. So thank you. And thank God it's all over. And as always, awesome, radical, caliber.